and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video I want to talk a little bit about how I built and how I wrote my own fitness routine. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me and draw me a comment down below. Let's see. Do you work out? What is your fitness routine? Because as you'll see throughout this video, I built my own and I'm going to share how I did that. So disclaimer, I am not a trainer, I'm not a professional, I've been an athlete at times in my life, but I don't really feel like one right now. And second disclaimer, I know fitness routines can be very personal, everybody likes to do different types of exercise, so this is just what I'm doing right now, everybody's fitness style is different, this is what I have come up with through researching to write my own fitness routine and I'm going to be sharing all of my resources that I used down below. There's going to be a bunch of links so that you can check that out and see if any of it's helpful for you. So a little background on me, I was a gymnast my pretty much my entire upbringing. I was in the gym, training, I always had coaches telling me what to do. I never had to build my own fitness routine. And after that I was a dancer. Again, I was doing what I was told to do sort of overlapping that time and then into my adulthood, I got pretty into running and yoga. So I was doing pretty much just that for a while as my fitness. I was kind of riding my bike to work and stuff too, so I had like riding my bike as my main exercise and then I would go for runs or walks and I would do yoga every day. And that's kind of what I did for a long time. And I never lifted, I always did strength training within my yoga but I never really focused on strength training. And growing up the way I did, all the strength training we did was body weight. So I was somebody who had rarely ever touched a free weight, a dumbbell, anything. And especially over the last year, I felt like I've lost a lot of muscle strength. So I knew that lifting weights was probably something I would have to start doing. Luckily, recently we've gained access to our apartment gym, so we've been able to actually train in a gym with equipment with equipment and weights, and I'm very grateful for that because over the last year we have still been training at home. We have resistance bands and a couple other things, but really not a lot of equipment, and you don't need a lot of equipment to build a good workout routine. This is just I wanted to get into actually lifting weights because I felt like it would help accelerate my progress, build my muscle back up, but you totally don't have to use weights at all if it's not something that you want to do or you're not comfortable with. So one thing about me is for some reason the weight machines I don't like as much as free weights and I, I don't know what it is about machines but I've never really liked using the machines as much. So while I was researching, I was really trying to find workouts that I would enjoy and I would feel comfortable doing, but are also basic workouts that are gonna build my muscles. And I have to say today was arm day and my arms are exhausted. So in my research, I found that people recommended working out three to five days a week. Because we had already been working out four days a week at home, we went ahead and said, we're gonna up that to uh, five days with two active recovery days. So one of those days is a workout day and one of those days is a rest day. So that means we only have one full complete rest day. But for the active rest day, it's really just doing a little something, doing a little stretch to move the body. For us, this is how we broke things down. Tuesday is lower body day, legs and butt. Wednesday is upper body day. So arms and abs, shoulders, back, all of that. Thursday is our active recovery workout day. So we go on a long hike through the woods and that hike has actually gotten a little more intense after that ice storm because there's still trees down. So we have to climb over things and under things and around things just to do our normal hike. It's also a lot of uphill so it really gets the heart going at least for a little bit. On Friday, we do a HIIT workout, a full body HIIT. Currently, we're only doing about 10 to 15 minutes of a HIIT workout. It is so intense. 
and we're using Apple Fitness to pick a HIIT workout so it's not something that I've put together. We're actually doing a workout video. I might eventually try and put together a HIIT workout for that, but they've already done the work. There's already the workout videos there, so we might as well uh, use them and have one day a week where we do a HIIT workout. This is also really nice because Fridays we don't have this big long workout, so we can get to work earlier and get off work earlier. Because Friday night, you'll know, I stream on Twitch, usually playing Minecraft or Final Fantasy. And of course we want to get to the fun quicker. Saturday is player's choice. We do an ab circuit and then we can choose to do kind of whatever we want to. If we want to go for a run, if we want to go for another hike, if we want to go flow at the park, or if we want to go kayaking, we can choose to do something fun and active that's out of the norm, maybe not in the gym. Sunday is the active rest day, and Sunday I like to do a nice yoga. And then Monday is total rest day. Monday we chose to be a rest day because he usually has a lot going on with work, and I have to go to the grocery store and meal prep, so we kind of have a lot going on and trying to fit a workout in there. We just didn't want to deal with it, so Monday is our rest day. So this is the schedule we're sticking to for the next six weeks. And I do plan on doing a six week update once we have completed the six weeks to see how our progress is going, to see how we're doing, and to kind of write a new schedule and see what we're going to do for the next six weeks. As for sets and reps and all of that, I have chosen the way we are doing them based on what is going to help us tone because that is our goal. Depending on what your goals are, you're going to do more or less sets, more or less reps. It really depends on what your goals are. And you can find information on all of that in those resource links down below. I'm not going to go over that in this video because I don't want to misspeak. Because again, I am not a professional. I'm just sharing with you guys what we are doing right now. So I'm tracking all of this on Notion. I have all my notes and each exercise we're doing, tracking how it felt, what weight, all of that. So we can actually track the progress over time. And while I'm in the gym, I'm making sure to tweak things depending on how I'm feeling that day. So if I need to be lifting heavier or less, then I will do that. And I'll make sure to write it down in my little fitness tracker that I made on Notion. As for what exactly we're doing, I'm gonna have a PDF down below with like a chart with everything. Um, hopefully I can find like the names of the different exercises because that's one thing I've been struggling with. So I'm like, I know that exercise, I know how to do it. I don't know what that's actually called, so. <laughs> I'm like describing what the next workout is to my partner because I don't know what the name is. Basically what I did with those resources is I wrote down a list of all of the basic workouts, all of the beginner workouts for lower body and upper body, and then I went through and I chose five exercises from that list that covered all of the different muscle groups. So some of the exercises on that list cover the same muscle group. I only chose to do one of those exercises and then moved on to the next one that covered more muscle groups. That way I could get all the muscle groups covered that I wanted to in that one workout. And in six weeks what I might do is say, okay, I was doing this workout that targets this muscle. There's this other workout that also targets this muscle. Let's do that one for the next six weeks. That way I can train this muscle in different ways. In one of the videos that I watched, it basically said do four to five exercises, three to four sets, 10 to 15 reps, 60 to 90 second rest for toning. So that's the formula that I use to build the workouts. Five different exercises, then I did 10 to 12 reps for each of them, three to four sets, and 60 second rest in between each time I did the set. As for abs, we're doing three rounds of three exercises of 12 to 15 reps twice a week. There are two different ab circuits though, so that one of them we can do at home and one of them we're using a weight at the gym. I will also see if I can upload my fitness template to Notion and leave that link below so that you guys can download it straight into your Notion and track your fitness routine and your workouts. If I can figure it out, I've never uploaded a template to Notion. I'm sure it's easy enough. 
I know I didn't cover a lot of specifics in this video, but I hope you go take a look at the resources down below. Like I said, I am not a trainer, but a lot of the people down below are, so go check them out. Use the resources that I've compiled to build your own workout, or you can copy mine. I will have that linked, so you can just straight up copy mine if you want, and we'll work out together. Six weeks from now, we'll see what our results are, yeah? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. Leave me a comment down below if you're going to exercise with me. And let's do this together. Alright, bye y'all.